Have you ever played a game on Fortnite and you just can't find anyone in the game? Well, now I got the solution for you. But there are some things that you need before you can use a strategy. And maybe some of you guys have done this before, but anyways, you're gonna need a jump pad in the game. The earlier, the better. And the last thing you're gonna need is just to be in the safe zone. If you have the launch pad and you're in the safe zone, you're gonna be able to use the strategy for majority of the game, maybe even the entire game, depending on where the circle ends. So basically what you're gonna have to do is get a launch pad and place it down on a building so it's not easy to break. Then you're gonna use it to scout the area. The things you wanna be looking for is obviously the people and you also want to be looking for any walls or forts being built you'll be able to see a distinct color like a bright red orange color in the background whenever an object is finished being built so that is a good indication that people are there because they built something there now let me give you an example of how you're pretty much going to want to use this if you spawn tilted towers you're pretty much always going to be in the safe zone or at least near it so what you're going to want to do is put the launch pad down on top of the castle building since it's the highest building up you can also build around the launch pad to make it a bit higher off of the ground but you want to make sure it's not not in a position where someone could break it easily by the way you shouldn't use wood to place it you should either use brick or metal since they last longer they're stronger and harder to break in case anybody wants to ruin your fun it's not going to be easy for them anyways once the launch pad is safe you can float around and patrol the map since you're able to see super far with this height advantage usually when you use the launch pad you use it to get to the safe zone or you push a team or you flank a team but if you're in the safe zone you can see people from all around the map when it's time to go into the next safe zone you could just use the launch pad to get there so you're pretty much using the launch pad the right way you know instead of building a ramp that just goes straight up into the sky that anybody could break down easily this is more secure and you're able to use it and go back there anytime you want now that's the important thing here you're not just using the launch pad once you're using it multiple times so let's say the safe zone is tilted and i see somebody over in loot lake I will use the launch pad to go over and kill the people by Loot Lake, and then I'll make my way back to the launch pad and start looking over the area. Since you're in the safe zone, people are going to be constantly coming to you, and they won't be running away from you. And like I said before, you do have to be in the safe zone to use this. Now, you don't have to. It just limits the amount of time that you're able to use it, and it's also going to be harder to find people since they're not going to be coming to you. So think about it like this. If Tilted Towers is in the safe zone, people could be running around that area all game. But if it's not in the safe zone, people are only going to be there for a certain part of the game pretty much common sense now remember you don't have to be in tilted towers to make the strategy work it can literally work at any location it just depends on the safe zone for example i did this in retail row and i had the exact results as tilted towers since it was in the middle of the safe zone so this strategy is very helpful for finding more players in the game getting to the safe zone without taking any damage and just entertaining to do and watch just think about it man you're just flopping on a launch pad waiting until you see people you're pretty much playing passive but then once you find somebody you're playing aggressive as you guys can see in the video you're pretty high up in the air you're able to look over anywhere you'll either hear gunshots or you'll see people running or you'll see buildings being made it's pretty easy to find people like this now for real guys let me know if any of you guys want to try this method i'm sure people have done stuff like this but i feel like placing it on a building instead of just in the air is way more secure considering people could just shoot down the other one anyways let me know if you guys liked this method this strategy let me know if you're gonna use it let me know how it works when you use it for me every time i've used it it worked like a charm now this doesn't mean you're gonna win every fight it just means you're gonna find more people and you guys should know the more fights you get into the less chance you have of winning so don't come back here complaining about how you didn't win the game it's not about winning the game it's just about finding more people doing something different in the game instead of just running around having the people go to you but you're able to see them from afar now if you guys are in my stream you know i use this method every chance i get so i really really wanted to make a tutorial by the way i'm sorry this is kind of a different video but i feel like this is good to share good for people to know i want to run into a game where i see somebody doing this sometime but anyways guys Hopefully you enjoyed this video. All my links to social media are in the description down below. We are on the daily upload, daily stream, freaking grind, bro. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new or if you enjoyed the content. And I know you guys are getting tired of hearing my voice, so that's pretty much it for me. Peace. Phase up.